Hello and very warm welcome from Dr. Zia Ahmed YouTube channel. Today we are going to record one short video on the essay of Mohsen Hamid that essay is Discontent and Civilization. This essay is reflective of the feelings of Mohsen Hamid about his writings and what he feels about Pakistan and the external world. Besides that, this essay also throws light on the concept of clash of civilization, whether it is right or it is wrong. The basic contention that Mohsen Hamid has offered in this essay is to think whether civilization itself is responsible for some kind of uh, problems for humanity or certain individuals are respect responsible for this purpose. The, the world is suffering from the post effects of 9-11 and the new world order and that is why there are terrorisms, there are attacks, there are the people who are being killed and the economy is also in very bad position. These things he says are because of the fact that it's not the civilization but it's the certain individuals who have got this. So that is why this, it was necessary to talk about this essay for the benefit of my students. So let's see what does this essay start with and how we can analyze this essay with respect to the theory uh, that the clash of civilization is there and the civilization does have the conflicting elements in it and these very conflicts keep on improving the civilization but these very conflicts become responsible for the different type of reactions which the human beings would show or the opportunities of bloodshed and the and the other kind of bad things can happen there. So that's why let's move on to the essay and see how does it start. So this is the essay and the essay uh, of course uh, has number of other things to talk to us but let us uh, suppose that we can Uh, let us suppose that we can talk about this essay in uh, different terms as the essay goes to portray. For example, this is the essay Discontent and uh, Civilization, Civilizations rather. The, poet, the, the writer begins the essay with the, with the starting of the passage like it says recently, I was strolling along Mr. Dam's canals with a pair of Pakistani immigrant friends. They were worried the leader of the third largest party in the Dutch parliament had called for a ban on Quran. Attitudes towards Muslims were becoming toxic. A strange thought hung over me as we wandered by marijuana selling coffee shops and display windows for illegal prostitutes. The thought that Anne Frank as a permanent reminder of intolerance gone mad could be guardian angel for Muslims in Amsterdam. How sad that in the city with its history a religious minority could once again feel the need for such a guardian. Suspicion of Muslims is of course not confined to Europe. Earlier this year on a trip from Pakistan to New York with my wife and baby daughter, I had my usual lengthy encounter at JFK airport with an American version of the same theme. Well, this is the introduction of the essay and it contains all the kind of elements that would be talked about in this essay. For example, first of all, we have the ban on Quran and secondly, we have in opposition to that, these the kind of marijuana selling shops and the prostitutes and it's attached with the, uh, with the story of Anne Frank. And uh, then the writer goes to talk further about his position in Pakistan as well. So let us discuss these elements one by one. According to writer, the, some of the institutions and some of the states in America are, or in Europe are there who would like to ban the studies or, or the appearance of the Holy Quran uh, which is the holy book of Muslims thinking that this, this teaching of the Holy Quran definitely causes the elements of terrorism according to them and so they would ban it but on the other hand they would be ready to allow permissions to the intoxications to the trafficking or to the prostitution of women that's the contrast between the two societies two civilizations that's the culture uh, civilization according to Mohsen Hamid uh, that is something which reminds him of the of the story of Anne Frank who was similarly gone mad because of the treatment which he was meeting out because of being a Jew in the in the past century and 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 that is what is is going to be treated or meted out to the Muslims as well this is the reflection of the Europe but the impact of this thing according to Mohsen Hamid has gone down not only into Europe and America but also into Pakistan when he tells the story of his shifting to Pakistan and is experiencing the kind of bad things which were happening in Pakistan in the name of terrorism in the name of culturization in the name of changing the things in the name of reactions to the West, West attitude towards Pakistani people and in the name of uh, up to some extent the holy 
people who would uh, like to stress upon the kind of fundamentalism which they possess. So in that way, the essay goes to talk about a number of things about the current situation of Pakistan and European point of view and American point of view about the Pakistani people. Let us explore further into the same essay and see what further it says. Here, next we proceed into the next page and we will be able to see another passage which is, uh, you know, colored passage. Uh, I read for you, when we return to Pakistan, a shockwave from suicide bombing, the latest deadly attack by militants intent on destabilizing the country, passed through my sister's office in Lahore. The blast killed several people, but was far enough from the university where my sister teaches not to harm anyone on campus or shatter her windows. It did open her office door, though pushing it firmly ajar like a ghost exist exiting into the hallway outside. Uh, some, some might argue episodes such as these are signs of clash of civilization, but I think not. So this portion of the essay throws light on Mohsen Hamid's personal life and personal views because most of the post-colonial literature and the narratives by these authors is actually the private stories of these people which they would like to publish it. In this, in this essay, in this paragraph as well, Mohsen Hamid tells the incident from his own story uh, when he says that he had uh, built a kind of uh, home or room for his daughter uh, and as a result he was thinking that she was safe but all, fortune, all, all unfortunately uh, some bomb blast happened and because of that bomb blast the room was open and, the, and the, he gives the example of the ghost entering into the room and the door was left ajar and uh, the, the, the blast happened nearby and so he says that she could have been hurt because of that but fortunately she was not hurt. He says that this type of incident, he is himself the victim of such incidents, but then it is the representation of all those people who become the victim of such incidents in Pakistan. He says most of the people would term it as the clash of civilization and he ends the point by saying that according to him it's not the clash of civilization. So that's the main uh, focus of the essay that it's not the clash of civilizations, it is something else and that's what Mohsen Hamid is going to explain in whole of the essay. So, so far the tone is set, the tone of the essay is that it is not the clash of civilization which is making these things happen, something else. It could be political, it could be some agenda, it could be imperialistic design, it could be anything. But whatever the case may be, according to him, it's not the clash of civilization. Let's proceed further and see how does he claim, how does he prove his claim. For example, in the next passage, Mohsen Hamid is saying, Yes, Pakistani murder set of bombs that annually kill thousands. And yes, some Pakistanis fit the stereotypes of poor, radicalized, seminary educated militants, but they live in a nation where under 10% vote for parties of the religious right, where a rapidly growing majority watches television. Uh, in this part of the essay, he's claiming that it's not the Muslims and the kind of Christians or the other people who are clashing with each other. Because according to him, if we look at the population of Pakistan, though we have a number of people who are seminary educated people, who are poor, who are radicalized, but still, the representation of such people is only 10% of the people as a whole. Majority of the people are moderate. They don't, don't would like to or, or they would never like to enter into such activities. And even if we blame these 10% of the people, many of them would not go for that. There may be 1% or even less than 1% of the people, according to the writer, who could be thinking like that. For example, the writer further says, Pakistani television programming is incredibly diverse for good reason. So is the country. The blast wave that passed through my sister's office doubtless passed through devout Muslims, atheist Muslims, gay Muslims, funny Muslims, and love-struck Muslims, not to mention Pakistani Christians, Chinese engineers, American security contractors, and Indian Sikhs. What civilization then did the bomb? target and from what civilization did it originate. Mohsen Hamid therefore solidifies his point of view by saying that when the blast happened near the room of her sister, uh, near the nearest house at that time, the blast didn't see whom he is killing, whether the blast is killing the Christian or the Muslim or the Sikhs or the Christian, anybody else there, it didn't see that. It was killing everyone regardless of so so the people who blast bombs, they even uh, they, they cannot think that who will be killed. Will it be the Christians who will be killed? Will it be the Muslims who will be killed? No one can decide that, no one can judge. So according to him, this type of activity is not the uh, germination of the clash of civilization because the bomb 
the person who comes to blow the bomb that doesn't know whom he is going to bomb it is the individuals not the religious not the non religious not the secular people it is the people in general which are hit without uh, considering the civilizations like that of sikhs and hindus the bomb hits them all the people are killed all regardless of the effect to which sector of the society majority or minority religious or non religious or secular they belong to it doesn't decide about that so according to him it is not the happening because of the two major civilization it's happening because of some political agenda and that's what he's talking about most of the time so let's proceed further and see what more he has for us in his store okay and uh, if we are going next we will see some more colored passage it says our daughter needed room so we converted our balcony adding a crooked metal foam insulated roof and some well shaded double glazed windows the room was bright inexpensive energy efficient and quick to build all we wanted in other words but then it occurred to us that our daughter's windows faced in the direction of the main road 100 yards away were our other offices shops banks the kinds of places sometimes attacked in our city well this portion of the essay brings to light to us the, the need uh, which had emerged because of these blasts because of these bombs that the security threats were there so people would like to have more and more security arrangements like security cameras security guards and the uh, covering of the windows and the and the kind of closure of the homes and the strong fencing of the homes all these things were happening as a result of these bomb blasts so this type of thing is also happening with mohsen hamid according to him he also had to see whether his sister and daughters and other people at home are safe because of these bomb blasts so worry and fear and insecurity was coming out of these bomb blasts or wherever they were coming from or whatever these were in the same tone if you proceed further we have the closing of uh, the essay uh, the last passage of the essay where mohsen hamid says i didn't wonder uh, wonder if they were made by the factories in the west by workers who were muslims by both or by neither no i wondered instead if such films were truly transparent for outside my daughter's window is a yellow blooming amaltas tree beautiful and mighty and much older than us all i hope not to dim my daughter's view of it and mohsen hamid closes this essay by making it a little bit fictional because according to him uh, the things which we use in order to secure ourselves are coming from the western countries coming from the american countries they make these things in order to feel us to make us feel us secure so same was the condition with mohsen hamid that he wanted to uh, save the room by attaching certain materials on the walls and on the doors and on the windows so that his people can remain safe but then he says that by doing so he will be camouflaging his sister from the whole world and she would be able to look at the whole word so uh, even she won't be able to look at that amal tas tree which is blooming beside her window she won't be able to look at that which she has genuinely the desire and the right to look at that so that is why he closes the kind of essay by saying i hope not to dim my daughter's view of it so that is why this type of closing says that we need not to close ourselves like the pigeon or like any other thing to say that the things will be averted we must come become ready we must go forward we must face these situations and try to analyze truly and work on the plans which may be helpful to us instead of just blaming the other people and saying okay that person is responsible this person is responsible that civilization is responsible or this civilization is responsible no try to remove the seed of those things according to mohsen hamis that's a desire so he's trying to you know uh, ala or uh, placate the kind of situation which is emerging which is diverting us to think only that the western civilization is responsible for that he is in in his essay trying to preach possibly that this is not the situation some other situations may also be considered and addressed to as well in order to find a suitable and good place for the humanity i hope that the essay is a little bit clear uh, the remaining things can be uh, read online can be uh, mohsen hamis can be talked to directly through email as well possibly he may reply is a very good writer and very good person as well he is actually is a very good pakistani as well and so he is working on the positive side of all the things which are happening to us we all need to possibly do all these things so that was the essay for this day video lecture for this day hopefully you people have enjoyed if you like it do not fail to hit the subscribe button and the like button and the comment also if you have uh, any positive and solid comments i would try to respond to that as well so for that time okay then see you later in some other video bye bye